Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Now, a structure this beautiful would presumably be a temple dedicated to an all-powerful god, or maybe a palace for an ancient king and queen. It's around a thousand years old, was commissioned in 1063 AD and took 20 years to complete. So you can imagine my surprise when I learned that what this actually is, is a step well. For those that don't know, a step well is a distinctive form of subterranean water resource and storage system, and is found on the Indian subcontinent, a type of structure that has been around since the 3rd millennium BC, but there is no more beautiful or elaborate example than Rani Kivav. It is situated on the banks of the Saraswati River in the town of Patan in the Gujarat state of India, and is attributed to Udayamati, the daughter of Kengara of Saurashtra, queen of the 11th century Chalukya dynasty and spouse of Bhima I. Before its discovery, it had completely silted over, buried from hundreds of years of river deposits, and was only rediscovered in the 1940s. In 2014, it was listed as one of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites, and after looking at the pictures, I can see why. It's a step well by classification, but the reason it looks like a temple is because it is a form of temple, an inverted temple that was built to highlight the sanctity of water, and as step wells go, it's the finest and one of the largest examples of its kind. It's divided into seven levels of stairs and sculptural panels, with more than 500 principal sculptures and more than a thousand minor ones that combine religious, mythical and secular iconography. It truly is a magical place. We know of its origins thanks to archaeological finds inside, which are confirmed by the writings of a Jain monk called Meritunga, who in 1304 wrote, Yudea Marti built this novel step well at Patan, surpassing the glory of the Sarhastralinga tank. As a side note, the Sarhastralinga tank is another ancient Indian water tank, large in size but far less ornate and beautiful. It is generally thought that Udaya Marti built the step well in honour of her husband, Bhima I, who died in 1064. Whether she was a widow when the well was commissioned, or whether the work started during the life of the king is disputed. Some compare it to the Vimalavashi temple on Mount Abu, built in 1032, and so it is thought by some that work started here at a similar time, when the king was very much alive. Whatever its true origins, nobody can deny that this is one of the finest and largest examples of stepwell architecture in the world. The architectural style is known as Maru Gajara, and the step well reflects clear mastery of this complex technique. The proportions, the beauty and the detail are all exquisite, comparable only to the Vimalavashi Temple and the Sun Temple of Madeira. It is classified as a Nanda type step well. It is 213 feet long, 66 feet wide and 92 feet in depth. It contains a 31 foot square water tank which is 75 feet deep. You enter the complex in the east and at the western end is a circular water shaft, 33 feet in diameter and 98 feet in depth. The step well is divided into seven levels of stairs which lead down to the deep circular well. The stairs in this structure are visually stunning to look at, perfectly in keeping with the rest of the structure. A stepped corridor is compartmentalised at regular intervals with pillared pavilions. The niches in the side walls are decorated with finely carved figures and sculptures, and there are an incredible 212 pillars in the structure. There are more than 500 principal sculptures and more than a thousand minor ones. We can see gods and goddesses, celestial beings, men, women, children, monks, priests, animals, fish, birds, plants and trees. There are depictions of both real life and mythology, and the whole complex is designed to be like an underground shrine, an inverted temple you could say. Many gods are represented, but there are more sculptures of Vishnu than any other god. And there is a reason that this place is decorated in such a manner. This place isn't just a well, it has a spiritual significance and represents the sanctity of water. 
I could go into so much detail about the symbolism at this place, of the styles and poses of the gods, goddesses, men and women, about the representations of nature on display, and I can always do that in a follow-up video in the future, because it's the detail of this place that is most fascinating. Fertility and nature worship are strong features, which does make sense as this was built for the life force of water, to honour it. But, as stated, it wasn't always like we see it today. Hundreds of years ago the neighbouring Saraswati River flooded, and the well silted over. Back in the 1890s, the site was visited by Henry Cousins and James Burgess, and it was completely buried under earth, with only the well shaft and a handful of pillars being visible. In the 1940s, excavations took place, and the beauty of the step well was once again revealed. It underwent major excavation and restoration in 1986, which also revealed an image of Queen Yudhiyamati. Rani Ki Vav was declared a monument of national importance, and is now a protected UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it was also named as India's cleanest iconic place at the 2016 Indian Sanitation Conference. Yes, a bit random, but it's good to know for a post-Covid world. Looking at this place reminded me of a structure of ancient Egypt, the famous structure known as the Assyrian. I'm not comparing them in terms of architectural style or even age, but mainly from the fact that both are subterranean structures, and both also contain very deep water at the bottom. I wonder if the Assyrian started out life as a kind of stepwell. Maybe it too was a place to honour the sanctity of water, and the form and style of it, with the platform in the middle surrounded by water, maybe reflected the Egyptian mythology of the primeval mound rising from the waters. I don't know, but I do think that water in the Assyrian is the key to understanding what it is and why it was built. But that will have to be for a future video. Back to India and since its discovery, Rani Ki Vav is a true national icon, but still a place that not many people in the western world know anything about. Since July 2018, the 100 rupee banknote of Mahatma Gandhi features this incredible step well on its reverse, a fantastic way to honour this true masterpiece of ancient Indian architecture. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.